Welcome to today's educational video where we delve into the topic of ichthyosis, a group of skin disorders characterized by dry, scaly skin. Ichthyosis can be a complex and challenging condition, but today we'll break it down to help you understand its causes, types, symptoms, and management options. Ichthyosis refers to a condition where the skin becomes thickened and results in the formation of scales. The name, ichthyosis, comes from the Greek word, ichthys, meaning fish, which reflects the fish-like appearance of the affected skin. There are numerous types of ichthyosis, but we will focus on the most common ones, ichthyosis vulgaris, lamellar ichthyosis, and epidermolytic ichthyosis. Ichthyosis vulgaris is the most prevalent form, affecting about 1 in 250 people. It is usually inherited in an autosomal dominant fashion, meaning only one copy of the mutated gene is necessary to cause the disorder. This type often starts in early childhood and is characterized by dry, scaly skin, particularly on the elbows, knees, and lower back. The scales may be fine, white, or gray and can become more pronounced in winter when humidity is low. Next is lamellar ichthyosis, which is described as a more severe form. It's usually caused by mutations in the ABCA12 gene and can present at birth with a thick, collodion-like skin that resembles a large, shiny membrane covering the body. As the child grows, the membrane eventually sheds, but individuals with lamellar ichthyosis will continue to have thick, plate-like scales. This type can also lead to complications, such as increased risk of infections and problems with thermoregulation due to the compromised skin barrier. Lastly, epidermolytic ichthyosis, also known as bullous ichthyosis, is characterized by red, inflamed skin that can blister easily. This type is often caused by mutations in keratin genes and presence at birth. The skin may appear soft and fragile, with the potential for significant scaling and peeling. Children with epidermolytic ichthyosis often require specialized care to prevent skin damage. In discussing the symptoms common to ichthyosis, we see that they generally include dry, thickened skin and scaling, which may vary in severity depending on the type. Some patients may also experience associated health issues, like joint stiffness, overheating, or even social and psychological challenges due to the visible nature of the condition. Now, let's talk about the management and treatment options available for ichthyosis. While there is currently no cure, various strategies can help manage the symptoms. The primary approach focuses on moisturizing the skin to improve its appearance and prevent complications. Emollient creams and lotions containing urea, alpha hydroxy acids, or salicylic acid are commonly recommended to help exfoliate the scales and keep the skin hydrated. In more severe cases, oral retinoids, such as isotretinoin, may be prescribed. These medications can help reduce scaling and improve skin barrier function. However, they should be used under the supervision of a healthcare provider due to potential side effects. It's also important for individuals with ichthyosis to maintain a regular skincare routine. Bathing with lukewarm water, avoiding harsh soaps, and applying moisturizer within a few minutes after bathing can all help manage dryness. Additionally, wearing breathable, loose-fitting clothing can alleviate skin irritation. Support networks and organizations dedicated to ichthyosis can provide valuable resources and a sense of community. Connecting with others experiencing similar challenges can offer emotional support and practical tips for daily life. In summary, Ichthyosis encompasses a spectrum of genetic skin disorders leading to dry, scaly skin with varying severity and characteristics. Understanding the importance of skin care, adhering to treatment plans, and being aware of potential complications can enhance the quality of life for those affected. If you suspect ichthyosis or seek to manage this condition, consult a healthcare professional for personalized advice. Thank you for watching this video on ichthyosis. Be sure to subscribe for more educational content on health and medical topics. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Remember, knowledge is power when it comes to managing health conditions.